Hi everybody, uh, my name is Timothy Trespass and I'm a targeted individual. It's now approximately 4 something a.m. and I'm grateful for every little thing that I have. I'm really sick right now and so I have a little lantern. It runs on propane. I have some warm jackets covering me. And I'm laying on top of some suitcases in a place that has a roof. And I'm working in my little box. And I hope it would be fine if the watchers didn't make everybody around me like act weird. You people have noticed that too, other TIs, I'm sure. It's not just the gang stalkers, it's like other people start to act weird around you, no matter how nice you are. And, uh, you know, it's like, almost like, <laughs> almost like either it's mind control and it's making, you know, they're telling everybody, don't, don't help this person, don't like them, oh, they're a piece of shit, they're trash, you know, the same way they do the V2K to us. <laughs> Or, maybe the more gallons inside of us change our genetics so that other people are biologically, genetically repelled by us. But that's a little far-fetched, but possible. Or, perhaps it's just that after being a targeted individual, you look like such a scary Frankenstein, you know, survivor of God knows what, that people just, I don't know. I don't know. Do, do you recoil? Do you recoil from the war veterans with their many wounds, missing limbs, and shattered faces? Or do you love them and hug them and welcome them home and hope to God they learn not to do it again? Um, as usual. Uh, if it wasn't for the the influence, the outside evil influence, or the whatever influence, you know, these people running around their 14 million dollar experiment, me, <laughs> and um, just trying to make our lives miserable, it just sounds so stupid when you say it over and over and over again, and everybody's like, eh, you're crazy, you know, it really, it does sound ridiculous. That some group would spend so much time and money and effort and and you know, technology and personnel and logistics and just to I don't know what you know <laughs> just to just to push us to the to the limits of of what and I still don't know what that stuff shooting out of my head was. For, for about two weeks, <laughs> we had some creatures shooting out of the tops of our heads. I've told this story before, and they would change color and when they hit the ground to match the ground, just like an octopus does, or it hides itself. And they would grow in the air, and they would shoot out of our head about every 12 minutes or so, and they were all over the place. Very strange. You know, they were about the size of a quarter or a half a dollar, and maybe about three, four quarters thick. And these are sort of spongy, shell-like things, and you put them in water, they went and got all big. <laughs> oh, I wish I still had some of those samples. Um, as usual, you know, if it wasn't for the, the influence. And so, I'm like, let's get to the root cause of this whole thing. What makes the world go? Is it God? Is it Satan? Is Satan working for God? You know, like trying to figure out the whole thing. Where do I fit in? What's going on? Where am I going to go when I die? And who are these crazy people and what are they doing? A lot of questions there. And we all come up with these questions and these answers. and You know, but nobody really seems to know the, the truth. Because if they did, they'd shut us up. <laughs> Or they just make us look crazy like me and nobody would believe me anyway. That's another thing I was thinking about today is, is God has given me this gift where frequently I look at a situation 
and I understand it, and I say, this is what's going to happen next. <laughs> this is the next, you know, here's the regression of, of things on this timeline, and here's what's going to happen, and what they're planning, and what, and I'm usually right. This is, no, not usually, but sometimes. <laughs> I don't know anymore. I don't know. I'm really sick. Um, okay, somebody's here. I have to be quiet now. Um, I hope I can just sleep. I'm really sick. I have to pray and pray that they don't. Oh, dear God. This is really a situation, you know, sort of in between a rock and a hard place, but it could be worse. It can always be worse, and I'm always grateful for the for the nice things, for the, for the good things, for the food, for the breathing, for the walking and thinking. And even though I'm losing my memory, I like the, the, the sky around the corner smiles a lot. It's very nice. Yeah, my birth mother says that having Alzheimer's is like uh, every day can be your birthday because you don't remember it was yesterday. And every movie you watch is new, and uh, everything you do is a new experience. Almost like being a kid again. It's kind of interesting. I don't know. I know there's more to it than just this. This mere physical existence. There must be, but uh, to little the gift of this physical existence is, is a cruel twist. And that's not what I want to do. I must admit that this existence can be very painful, very hard, very, you know, at the extremes of human experience we experience here in this existence. Who knows what we're going to experience in another existence, if there is one, but I think there is, because for me, for this whole thing just to be pointless, it's just too much. In other words, if there wasn't a god, I'm going to create him. That's how badly I need him, you know, so that's what I'm going with. Uh, it's kind of weird, though, because, you know, it's like this, where do you get information about the thing that created everything, the one that did everything, you know, like, um, I guess it's like a personal, a personal relationship, and I imagine that, that there's all kinds of stuff going on that we can't see, you know, outside of our narrow band of vision, yes. I forget the bandwidth, but it's only a few hundred nanometers uh, as far as visible light. I wonder if that's actually true, because you can see biophotonic, uh, you can see emissions from people. Some people can see auras. Anyway. nice to have a place to talk to. And, uh, I feel so bad for everybody that's going through this. I know how difficult it is. It's the most trying, most difficult experience that you will ever go through. <laughs> that's that. Uh, although it can always be worse. Let's hope it gets better. Thank you for watching. God bless you all.